Hello e trailer neighbors, I'm Steven. Today we're looking at this Kodiak disc brake kit for 11 inch hub and rotor with an eight on six and a half lug pattern with a raw finish. Now this particular kit is rated at 10,000 pounds. It fits what's called a number 99 spindle, if you're looking that up. It has torsion or spring axle, torsion or spring axle configurations of what it can work for. And again, those rotors 11 inch diameter. Now the brake flange is a five bolt pattern as far as the mounting holes and the wheel stud diameter on these bad boys is five eighths of an inch thick. So very, very beefy, nice, robust. The hub face to brake flange measurement is 3.18 inches. Now your bearings and races, uh, the races are gonna be included. They come pre-pressed inside the hub assembly itself. However, your bearings are sold separately. You're gonna need an inner bearing of 28580 and an outer bearing of 25580. You also need a grease seal sold separately. That's 91030. And if you're interested, the inner diameter of that grease seal is 2.75 inches. And the outside diameter of that grease seal that you're gonna need is 3.779 inches. Again, those are sold separately. Now, this kit uses industry standard bearings uh, and seals, which again, the races are included, but the bearings and seals are sold separately. Uh, and this kit's gonna prevent re heat related damage with its vented design, and that's very effective in that it dissipates heat. And the E-coat finish, let me flip one of these guys up here, <laughs> kind of heavy. And the E-coat finish on the calipers themselves and the brackets and everything here, it's gonna be very corrosion resistant for fresh water and limited salt water usage. And again, the calipers are cast iron, they're self-adjusting, it's gonna give you a very smooth, equal braking. And again, the cast iron's not gonna flex like aluminum kits that are out there, other brands use. Does have a very nice low drag design that's gonna retract the piston itself further than all the other calipers that are out there. And that in turn is gonna give you a cooler running brake. Again, that piston inside of that caliper is nickel plated, or I'm sorry, nickel chrome plated. And it's a two and a half inch diameter and it's 30% larger than the brands that are out there on the market. And you know, that in turn, uh, from what I'm hearing from the installers and the mechanics here, that's gonna give you better braking torque, uh, a lot better than all the competition that's out there. Let me put this guy back down, it's getting kind of heavy. So again, you're gonna have uh, what's called ductile iron mounting brackets. And again, those bad boys are provided, nice powder coat finish, very, very heavy duty steel, five bolt pattern on that bracket. You're gonna get two full assemblies with this kit. There are two sets of calipers here. It's kind of hard to see this back one, but you do get the ceramic brake pads that are included as well. It's got the two spring up there by my thumb and that just simply pops back up in here whenever you're installing it. So overall, uh, from what I've seen from this kit, very, very well made as with all Kodiak and Dexter parts that are out there. Again, you're gonna get your grease, uh, oil caps rather, included as well, and the rubber plugs to fill them up with the oil. Uh, again, just a very nice design, super, super heavy duty. Uh, the slotted uh, grooves and everything here on the rotor itself, like I mentioned before, that's gonna dissipate heat and everything. Everything here is very, very well made. You get a very nice uh, warranty on this as well. And you can look all that information up on our website as far as how that works and everything. But again, rate right at 10,000 pounds, fits a number 99 spindle. And again, it works with torsion or spring axle configurations. Well, I'm Steven with the trailer A lot of information here, but I hope it's been helpful for you. I hope everything today maybe answers some questions you might have about the product itself or just about some braking stuff in general. Again, I'm Steven. Have a great day. Stay safe out there while you're towing.